Hi guys, it's the Arseholics. Mize here. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, night before the Villa game, we thought we'd just get our predictions together uh, and share them with you all, given that we weren't all able to get together to record after what happened on Wednesday night. Uh, myself and a friend, Ruben, uh, were able to do an episode and we do talk about what happened uh, against Man City and the loss. And we do talk about the Villa game as well. But look, just really quickly, um, another huge, huge game. We've got an opportunity to really just kind of get out of this slump, this run that we're in. And I think if Arsenal are serious about winning the league this season, or at least challenging um, for the title, then it's just a must-win game. We said it again. We said it about the game against Brentford. We couldn't do it then. And I think, you know, this is the, probably the point in the season where Man City might just start to pull away if Arsenal don't match their results or don't start winning games. Um, I'm really hoping that we refresh the team a little bit. You know, the obvious one is Trossard. I think Martinelli, I love Martinelli. He's had a fantastic kind of first half of the season, but kind of got off the boil a little bit. And sometimes it's a good thing, you know, take that player out, take a couple of players out, kind of out of the limelight a little bit, give someone else a chance. It's why we brought, brought Trossard into the into the squad, right? He's he's ready-made, ready to go, offers something a little bit different. Um, so why not? Why not try him? Um, you know, Villa have been good. Villa have been good under Emery. Um, they, they obviously, typical Emery kind of style, going very solid, counter-attack. But I think, like I say, I think if Arsenal have any serious ambitions about winning the league this season they need to they need to go and win this game and um it's really going to be about men like mentality it's really going to be about you know the big players showing up Saka Erdegaard I'm expecting big things from them and Ketia putting things right after what happened on Wednesday if he gets a chance or a couple he has to take one he has to take both of them so let's see what happens I'm going to go for a 2-1 win I think Saka will score and I think actually the other player I mentioned, Erdegaard, might score as well. So I'm going to go 2-1, fingers crossed. Hey, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 Arsenal win this weekend. Um, I really, really hope we go back to winning ways. We really need to. But I think there would have been a lot of belief that came out of the City game. Uh, although I, I imagine the players were just as devastated you know, as we are as fans. But I think the fact that we technically matched them for you know such big periods of that game and looked probably the better side for periods... I think would fill the boys with a bit of confidence. I think they'll know that if they can go to Villa and play at that level, they'll probably win. I think the fact that Jorginho played such an incredible first half um, would probably have given them a lot of confidence, even if Partey is out, that you know we can cope. And I kind of feel it's a bit reminiscent of that period where um, you know, last season towards the back end, we were losing a bunch of games, weren't really winning, and then we went to Chelsea and, and suddenly we won, and then we, we, just, we just won a whole kind of, a period of games after that so I'm hoping this could be the start of this but hey we need a win so yeah let's do this all right um I've got a cold so I'm going to keep this quick I'm going to go 1-0 Arsenal I think it'll be tough I think it'll be tricky but we'll get it done I'm sure Raj has left some long-winded deep pretend analysis so you can listen to that 1-0 we'll get the win move on job done bye Win game for us now. Uh, one point in the last three, and you know, yeah, title is, you know, title hopes that we had before, you know, even a few weeks ago. I think it's sort of starting to slip away a bit, and I think we just need to you know, get back in control um, of our own fate. Really, um, we love lost the last two games as well, um, and you sort of hope that you know Unai will do us a bit of a favour. Um, but I think, yeah, hopefully the boys will be, you know. I'm sure they'll be hurting from the last uh, last game where I thought we played well and we didn't deserve to lose. So I'm hoping, yeah, early kickoff tomorrow, the boys will be firing and just just go for it. So I'm um, hoping we'd sort of win, probably would concede. So I'll, my prediction will probably be a two-one win for Arsenal, hopefully, and yeah, let's get this uh, get this race back on. <laughs>